When the whole world have their eyes set on SpaceX and their upcoming Starship and Super Heavy rocket system, their competitor Blue Origin is quietly moving forward with the development of their partially reusable rocket, New Glenn. Founded in year 2000, a full two years before SpaceX, Blue Origin is still yet to reach orbit. The company founded by the richest man on Earth, Jeff Bezos, has been quietly developing its technologies for two decades now. With the company motto being Gradatim Ferociter, meaning step-by-step step ferociously, Blue Origin has historically been tight-lipped about their development. Even though they are slow to show off their details and are conservative with their timelines, they are just equally as ambitious as the others in the industry. The main goal for Blue Origin, as mentioned on their website, is to build a sustainable access to space, and they aim to achieve it by perfecting each and every step without skipping anything. And now, with more than 20 years of existence, those small steps could lead to a giant leap in the coming years. Before jumping to their new Glen, first let's take an overview of the development that has taken place at Blue Origin. With their main goal in mind, Blue Origin decided to take on the suborbital tourism game first with their new Shepherd program. In 2005, Jeff Bezos discussed the plans of a suborbital vertical takeoff and landing spacecraft named New Shepard. And after small hop test with their Goddard test vehicle, Blue Origin was ready for the first test flight of a full scale New Shepard rocket by 2015. New Shepard is a small suborbital spacecraft standing 18 meters tall, powered by Blue Origin's BE3 liquid fuel rocket engine, which uses hydrogen and liquid oxygen as fuel. It is a two stage rocket system designed to carry up to six passengers and reach the Kármán line the generally accepted boundary between Earth and space. The rocket consists of a booster and a capsule, where the booster is designed to land propulsively on land after staging, whereas the capsule follows a different trajectory after separation and lands using parachutes. As of the making of this video, New Shepard has completed 13 successful flight tests with three boosters. The first launch took place on 29th April 2015. The first test was a partial success as the capsule returned to Earth, but the booster failed to land due to the failure of hydraulic pressure in the vehicle's control system. However, it didn't take too long for Blue Origin to launch again. On 23rd November 2015, Blue Origin conducted another test flight of New Shepard, this time reaching an altitude of 100.5 km. After separation, the booster descended back towards land, relighted its BE3 engine and successfully landed. Since then, the second booster has completed five successful tests and is now retired. The third New Shepard booster has flown seven times to this date, with the latest flight taking place on October 13, 2020. Blue Origin is now looking to launch the fourth booster in early 2021. After successfully reusing the New Shepard booster and capsule, Jeff Bezos had plans to launch astronauts by 2017 and commercial passengers by 2018. However, this has not happened yet. Blue Origin have plans to launch their first crewed flight on their NS-16 mission. However, the date for this mission is yet to be declared, but it is expected to take place in 2021 or 22 to be conservative. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the house. Blue Origin's first orbital class rocket, a partially reusable heavy lift launch vehicle named New Glenn. Their next step towards sustainable access to space. One really interesting thing that we are seeing here is that Blue Origin is going from an 18 meter suborbital rocket all the way to a 98 meter tall heavy lift launch vehicle. The design work for New Glenn started in 2012 and the illustration of the rocket were made public in 2016. So let's get into the specification of New Glenn and see what Blue Origin plans to use it for. The New Glenn is a two stage rocket with a diameter of 7 meters. The first stage of New Glenn is powered by seven of company's BE4 rocket engines. BE-4 is currently the world's most powerful methane-powered engine and when combined, the seven BE-4 engines in the first stage provides a thrust of 17,100 kN during launch. For comparison, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy gets a thrust of about 22,800 kN with its 27 Merlin engines during liftoff. BE-4 has completed several hot-fire tests. In addition to this, BE-4 is also going to be used in ULS upcoming Vulcan rocket. The interesting part of the first stage of New Glenn is that it's going to be reused. The first stage is designed to propulsively land on a large ship in ocean, similar to what SpaceX do with the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, much on a regular basis nowadays. However, the hardware that Blue Origin is going to use for the landing is very different from what SpaceX uses for the Falcon rockets. Instead of having grid fins on the top end of the booster, New Glenn will use small fins which are similar to those on the New Shepard rocket. Along with fins, the rocket also uses a pair of strakes on the lower portion of the booster. These strakes provide the first stage booster additional lift and also more surface area to bleed off velocity during descent. The first stage of New Glenn will fire for more than 3 minutes, which is much more than SpaceX's Falcon boosters fire for. 
This means that after staging, the first stage is traveling at more than 2000 meters per second, which makes the recovery very far downrange. The recovery is estimated to be more than 1000 kilometers downrange compared to Falcon 9 booster's maximum downrange recovery of 680 kilometers. Another interesting part of the recovery system is that the ship on which the booster lands will actually be moving in the ocean. This allows New Glenn to land even in rough seas. Blue Origin plans to reuse the booster at least 25 times, which surely will reduce the cost per kilogram for launch if this number is materialized. So this was the first stage of New Glenn. The second stage of New Glenn will be powered by two vacuum optimized versions of BE3 engines named BE3U. Combined, these two engines provide a thrust of about 1100 kN. Perhaps what makes New Glenn really different is its fairing. New Glenn's 7 meter fairing provides a payload volume of whopping 458 cubic meters, which is twice that of any other existing launch vehicle. For comparison, Falcon Heavy, which shares the same fairing as Falcon 9, has a payload volume of about 145 cubic meters. This payload volume will allow New Glenn to launch dual payloads with up to 10 metric tons in both sections. With all these advanced systems integrated, how much can New Glenn take to low Earth orbit and geostationary transfer orbit? Well, being a heavy lift launch vehicle, New Glenn can lift a massive 45 tons to low Earth orbit and about 13 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. For comparison, Falcon Heavy can take around 30 metric tons to low Earth orbit and about 8 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit. However, one point to be noted here is that these figures are for reusable configuration of both New Glenn and Falcon Heavy. As far as publicly available information, Blue Origin has no plans to expand the first stage of New Glenn. So, even though Falcon Heavy has more thrust during liftoff, it has a lower fairing volume and also lower capabilities compared to New Glenn. So, now the important question. When will Blue Origin launch the New Glenn? Initially, Blue Origin had plans to launch New Glenn by 2020. However, in 2018, the expected launch date was pushed to 2021. As of the making of this video, the Blue Origin's website still states 2021 as a launch year. New Glenn will be launched from LC-36 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Blue Origin has built a factory near launch complex for the production of New Glenn. Jeff Bezos has invested more than $2.5 billion in the New Glenn project, which includes a billion dollar for factory and launch pad upgrades only. And if New Glenn reaches orbit before SpaceX's Starship or NASA's SLS, it will be the tallest and the most powerful active launch vehicle. Apart from this, Blue Origin has stated that New Glenn will be the smallest of their orbital class rockets. Their next launch vehicle, named New Armstrong, is currently in design phase. So even though Blue Origin is slow, we must acknowledge that they are also doing some really interesting stuff. And when they will launch their new Glenn, I am pretty sure the space community will be just as excited as the first Falcon Heavy launch. So that's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.